presentation. Uh, today, I want to talk about the future of Ruby virtual machine, and especially talk about the performance of the C Ruby or uh, another Ruby implementation. Uh, my name is Koichi Sasada, uh, developer of the Yarb and the virtual machine for the Ruby 1.9. Okay, today's summary. Uh, at <laughs> uh, scaling Ruby and <laughs> the GUI talk is very interesting. So, in fact, I, I want to see the, the <laughs> room <laughs> for the performance. So, do you need to change the room? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, some, uh, I, I believe someone writes the uh, log, so I will, I will get, I, I can get the, the presentation log. So uh, today's summary is that uh, C Ruby is uh, not the best solution of the uh, virtual machine performance. In fact. There, there is uh, several uh, some limitation to analysis or optimization, but uh, CUB is uh, good enough to uh, good enough solution for the pragmatic uh, Ruby programmers. At least several years. I I can't. Uh, I, I, I don't know the, the several years ago, oh, sorry, the future, but I, I think several years, it, it is uh, uh, enough solution, good enough solution. Uh, uh, at first, I want to introduce my uh, recent report. Uh, I'm Koichi, and a Yab developer. Uh, this is uh, fifth the big conference and the fourth presentation out here. Here and I I became a lecturer at the University of Tokyo. And uh, I I held uh, one lecture, the programming system, but there are three only three students. <laughs> so so we, we are chatting at the, the, my lecture. And there, uh, there is a Sasada laboratory. Um, if you want to research the Ruby interpreter or a virtual machine or something, the system software at the Tokyo, uh, please contact me. I, uh, I welcome the, the And only two students are there at the Sasada laboratory, but no one wants to work on the YAV. Uh, one, one student is uh, interested in the virtual machine monitor, and the one student uh, working on the user interface. Okay. And this is the fourth time to show the, this slide, so I speak, skip it. Uh, so, if you if you can uh, uh, my my if, if you can listen my poor English, please read my slides. I I write down all of the I want to talk about that. And this, and this is very important. Okay. Uh, today's agenda, uh, I I want to talk about the, these topics. At first. I want, uh, I'll talk about the perspective of Ruby virtual machine performance, uh, comparing with uh, another implementation, and introduce our research on the university. Uh, last year, Evan Phoenix, the developer of the Lubenials, 
he says that the JRuby is for the Java programmers, and iRuby is for the .NET programmers, and Ruby is for the Ruby pro programmers, and C Ruby is for the C programmers. Yes, I'm a C programmer. <laughs> so let's talk about the C. <laughs> the benefit and the uh, limitation of the C, uh, C Ruby implementation in the C. So this, this is uh, my, uh, this is all, uh, what I, I want to say in this presentation. Uh, this uh, part is performance, and this is the time or effort or money. At first, CRuby is, uh, uh, CRuby is uh, good, good enough to, at first, and uh, at first, JRuby or RLB, uh, there is no performance, no, uh, sorry, uh, low performance, but uh, with effort, the, uh, it will uh, beat in the CRuby performance at this point, and Rubinians will be beaten the, the uh, CRuby and JRuby, I believe. I don't know the, this, uh, this point when or how, how many efforts it uh, will need it. But current CRuB is good point, good one for the most of case. Uh, I I want to uh, uh, and and finally, Venus is the best best for Ruby's virtual machine performance. I want to introduce the reason why. This this uh, graph is uh, graph is, <coughs> and I believe another another implementation will be a uh, best implementation, uh, and at last, Shirubi can't have the best performance. Best performance is here. Shirubi can't become the best uh, in, in interpreter. And when, uh, when we get here is the question, so, hmm. so there is uh, several virtual machine techniques to improve the performance. Uh, simple, simple techniques are uh, applied for the YAV Ruby 1.9, and there are uh, many advanced optimization techniques. Uh, the famous one is uh, dynamic code generation like the just-in-time compiler using the native machine code and uh, polymorphic inline cache or selective inlining. And online feed feedback uh, optimization are uh, used in the Java hotspot uh, virtual machine. And the uh, Sign Microsystems uh, self language interpreter. And uh, recently, the Mozilla 3.1, uh, they, uh, they hired the tracing that I can't uh, introduce the detail of these techniques, but there are many techniques for the virtual machine, virtual machine performance improvement. And uh, let analysis uh, uh, benefit and the, the limitation of the JRuby or the Iron Ruby. So they use uh, a very you uh, very cool virtual machines. So
so many clever people working on each VM, but if it's virtual machine, so they don't need to touch the virtual machine details. So no code is good code. So there is no no bugs. So I believe this is the, the best solution to the to the uh, implement the the Ruby virtual machine. But there is a limitation, which is, uh, uh, for example, the JL, uh, J, Java virtual machine is focused on the Java. So there is a semantic gap uh, between the Ruby and the Java, or Java virtual machine. And they can't use the C extension directly. Uh, so they need to re-implement the, the C extension features in the Java or C Sharp or .NET languages. And the beginning is the, they write the most code in written in Ruby, so uh, like Java. So they have the meta sorry, Metacircular interpreter. And this is uh, the best, uh, I believe this is the best way to improve the Ruby virtual machine performance. Uh, because if they improve the Ruby, uh, Ruby virtual machine or uh, make, make good analyzer, they will improve cyclic and Rubinius is focused on mainly the Ruby language and the merit of this automation of Rubinius, uh, Rubinius is the, they need a long way to get the high performance on virtual machine. Uh, please remember the Java virtual machine the virtual machine needs uh, maybe 10 years to improve performance, high performance. So I think uh, JRuby, uh, sorry, Rubinius needs uh, many, many efforts or efforts or time or money to improve performance. Uh, for the CRuby, our CRuby, there is uh, many uh, advantages. For example, there is uh, portability. Uh, CRuby has uh, portability. Most environment, uh, such as uh, the desktop computers, uh, server computers, or embedded systems, uh, have uh, uh, GCC. Uh, new compiler corrections. Uh, so, ever, uh, so most of case uh, we can uh, build a uh, C Ruby, and there is a maintenance ability. Maintenance, sorry, it is easy to maintenance. Uh, of course, they uh, we we know C. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, I, I think everyone, uh, many people know the C. So it is easy to maintenance and easy to write the extension with C. And easy to write the simple optimization in C. Um, to apply the complex optimization, we need to uh, the uh, machine-dependent knowledge, but uh, we can make a simple optimization in C. But this is the reason why the CRuby is not the best solution, is the C extension libraries or method written in C is, uh, is uh, uh, oh, sorry, 
is will be a limitation of C Ruby performance because we we can't analyze the C Ruby C C C code or native gen, uh, compiler generated code to optimize. For example, the garbage collection. Ruby uh, C Ruby use uh, uh, conservative mark and sweep garbage collection uh, and uh, we can't inlining the C method in Ruby script. So this is the limitation. Uh, this, this is why we, uh, we can't get the best solution in C Ruby. But there is this, the, these uh, advantages. I think it, it is a good solution for, for us. So this is short summary of this presentation. Uh, so Shilby is uh, not best solution, but a good one, good solution. So we, we, we or I continue to improve C Ruby the implementation in C or in machine dependent way uh, such uh, uh, just in time compiler or something. So this is a pragmatic, pra uh, practical uh, solution, I believe. Next, uh, and I show the, ah, sorry. I show, uh, I think embedding and, embedding and the polarization is the key feature to success of the interpreter. So I introduce my research, our research to support such keywords. Um, in recent, recently, I, I'm working such a project related to Ruby, Ruby interpreter. And let, let introduce these uh, research. Uh, this is uh, past, past research. There is uh, some hidden optimization by defa default. Uh, for example, the tail call optimization, uh, which is also known, uh, sorry, which is well-known optimization, or instruction or operand unification or uh, stack caching. There is, uh, 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 sorry, I implemented such uh, optimization in YARB and 1.9, but it turned off by the ma uh, macro. And this is, uh, uh, the reason is the, they, uh, their optimization is not debugged, so <laughs> it, it can't guarantee this, this execution. But, uh, and there are some left easy optimization. For example, the efficient method caching. There are some redundant uh, process to invoke, invoke the methods, so we can eliminate this. this. And they, uh, I implement, the, uh, I make the fiber, fiber class, which is, which use uh, platform independent way, uh, like the 1.8 does in thread. But if we may, we use the make context or set context for the POSIX, POSIX platform, it will, uh, the performance will be uh, improved. Um, I, I will work these task and 1.192 uh, at, at one, 192 I, 
I will merge it, these optimizations. So uh, Ruby 1.9 will be uh, will get more performance. And another uh, uh, research, research, it, it, it is research but my hobby. Uh, and with a uh, part of C program into Ruby, uh, you know the Ruby inline, you know? So, but uh, they need to, they need to, uh, make a method, to separate method, but mixing, the mixing to C Ruby system, suppose the uh, end with the C code to directory. So we can, we can this system in, in the, uh, for the, for example, the uh, UC libraries directory or Replace built-in classes or methods in Ruby and Lixin, or test Ruby C APIs such as uh, RB, STL, new, or something. Or performance improvement continue, continuously. Con uh, so we we can check the performance to re uh, replace uh, Ruby to C. Uh, this is uh, uh, Lixing notation. Uh, this is a Ruby part, and if you call the, this method, you can write down the C part directory. The same is here. So this this example. Uh, it, this returns uh, file descriptor written in C, and and the uh, uh, close at last. This is uh, uh, flow of the lexing. You only need to write the Ruby. Uh, and C uh, mix file, R, RB in C. <laughs> so this extension will be uh, RCB. So write down this file and mixing translator ge or generates this file automatically. And you only need to run this file with uh, mixing supported C Ruby. I uh, I changed the virtual machine <laughs> to support this this feature, this list thing feature. Uh, the uh, Lexing translator generates such a C code, and uh, Lexing change uh, compiled to the bytecode using the, this uh, optional. Uh, instruction and this uh, op op optional call mixing uh, instruction uh, call this function directly. So there is no method, uh, no method implication overhead. For uh, Ruby in line, we need to call the C method. So we need. We, we need uh, method, overhead, method implication overhead, such as uh, make a method context or something. So, but there is, uh, uh, on Lexing, it's, this overhead is not, not needed. And there is some optimization. So if you write down the self in C, you can uh, access uh, the, C, uh, self in C directory. Um, I can't, I can't uh, explain details for the, uh, about the leak thing. So if you want to uh, know the, the system, uh, please contact me directly.
after that. And I evaluate the leaking on two environments. For example, uh, on the Intel architecture or Spark, Spark architecture. And we, uh, this evaluation shows the uh, new function call overhead with uh, current uh, C extension. They need, uh, uh, they need a method invocation overhead, method con creating the method, con method frame or something. They need, and Lixin doesn't, does not need the, so, so Lixin is faster, 10 times faster than the normal uh, C extension. And uh, this, this is the uh, same in the Ruby line. And I replace the uh, uh, C, uh, sorry, I replace the uh, uh, array each or range each or fix now times in Lixing, some iterators in Lixing. This is the uh, uh, current C version, and this is the Lixing version, and this is the uh, uh, pure Ruby version. C Ruby, uh, <laughs> And this is the uh, execution time. So lower is good. Mm. On the C, Ruby, uh, C, C version, the current Ruby 1.9, uh, compared to the Lixin version, Lixin version is uh, faster than the current version. And this graph, this part of graph is uh, the block in s written in C. Lixin supports the uh, block in, in C with uh, C, uh, another uh, feature. So if you, you write down the C, uh, sorry, uh, iterator in C and block is written in C, it is the fa fastest. And this is uh, replacing the multi ma uh, matrix multiplier with written in the mixing. I, uh, I write uh, uh, 36 lines C code directly and replace the 12 lines in Ruby code. And this performance improvement is here, 20 times or 12 times on the, uh, each environment. And Lixin is, uh, you can download to, from this uh, URL, so please try it if you have an uh, interest. Okay, so next is, uh, uh, Ruby to C uh, ahead of time comparer. Uh, Ruby, uh, C Ruby is for the C programmers, so we want to get the C source code from the Ruby source code, Ruby script. So, uh, a student on my, uh, my department of creative informatics, uh, he 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 writes down the the LT compiler. This compiler compiles the the, the Ruby script to the virtual machine code, and LT compiler uh, translates the C code bytecode to C code, and C compiler builds a native code as an extension libraries. So this error means uh, batch machine instruction dispatch overhead and optimization by the C compiler. C, GCC or uh, other C compiler has a clever, very clever optimization. So we can, 
we can apply this on the, uh, on, uh, to Ruby script. And of course, they, we, and we can eliminate uh, the parts or compile time. And uh, uh, generated generated native code and Ruby script can run executed in the virtual machine. And this is a uh, evaluation. And there is a uh, four environments for uh, and each operating system or C, uh, CPU and uh, comp different compilers. Uh, C is very portable, so we we can we can apply this this optimization for such uh, many uh, platform environments. Mm. And this is a uh, uh, performance in, uh, in speed up ratio graph. Same profile loop uh, gets uh, high performance, and the pentomino, uh, solving pentomino puzzle gets uh, the, such uh, performance improvements. And there is some there is some related work on the of the uh, Ruby two C project. So directly Ruby two C by Eric and Lian uh, will co uh, translate the subset of Ruby. Is that right? Yeah, yeah we got one of those. <laughs> <laughs> and the. Uh, uh, Hamaji-san, Japanese, Japanese, uh, sorry, Japanese uh, programmer, he made uh, 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 Yazit. So he, uh, he, trans, uh, he make a just-in-time compiler for, for IA32 CPU is Kaibyak. And Miura san make a YARB to LLVM. And you know, LLVM is a low level, uh, low level language or platform for the language processors. So he loads the uh, just in time compiler with LLVM. And next. Project is Atomic Ruby. Uh, Ruby is too fast to make convenient. The uh, involves convenient functions. There is uh, one megabyte for the 1.9. For example, the complex class or relational class will be merged in built-in class. So this is difficult to use the embedded environment. Uh, I means I use embedded keywords in the, the two, two meaning. Embedded for, uh, one is the embedded system uh, for the embed, uh, resource limited resource limited devices or something. So in many cases, uh, numeric, numeric calculation, floating point calculation, or uh, multilingualization is not needed. But we can't uh, purge the, such uh, features on current CRuby 1.9. And application embedded Ruby, so if you want to uh, Merge Ruby interpreter to your application. Is uh, Ruby is too far to use this? 
it is, this is difficult to use only the DSL engine. So I think you, you don't need to full set Ruby. So we need a slim interpreter. So Atomic Ruby project may, uh, will make the uh, suitable Ruby interpreter for the application or inter uh, environment, environment such as embedded systems for the resource limited gadget or something. So this, this project is uh, utilize the CRuby's portability. So if you have the GCC or some, some other C built environment, you can use this. And three sub project, there is a three sub project with uh, three students. Uh, pr uh, plug in and plug out feature for the built-in class, classes or pre-compilation and remove the parser or compilers or switch core features such as DC legal expression or thread S or something. So to use these features, you can, write, you can make the special interpreter uh, with, without, uh, for example, complex class or floating class, point class or something. Or uh, switch garbage collection to the real-time garbage collection or a simple regular special engine uh, used in the Ruby 1.8. Uh, for example, one student uh, achieved the, the incremental garbage collection on the, the uh, Ruby 1.9. For you and to use uh, Ruby interpreter on the the embedded system, uh, real time feature is important. But Ruby 1.9 uh, use uh, mark, uh, stop the world garbage collection. Only use the stop the world garbage collection. So we need to the. The incremental GC. Incremental GC garbage collection reduces application stop time. Uh, uh, Mark phase, uh, virtual machine uh, run the mark phase and application phase, uh, application concurrently. But uh, like, uh, to, to uh, implement the light barrier, you need to make a light variance to, for, uh, for the, the incremental GC or the national garbage collections. <coughs> also needed for the interpreter and extensions. If, if I implement the uh, uh, light variance ex uh, exactly, but uh, all of the extensions should implement the light variance. So, but, but uh, inserting the light value is too difficult for, for us so because we need a special knowledge of the virtual machine or garbage collection. So uh, we made the, we made the uh, automatically light value detection systems. I eliminate the details. so. But if, if you want to know, please ask me. So this is the result of the uh, incremental garbage collection. And this is the stop time of the gar uh, garbage collection. And the, on, on the current garbage collection, uh, on huge, huge uh, heap size, uh, the stop time increase in linear, but uh, on the snapshot real-time garbage collection, uh, we, we achieved the stop time is uh, constant. Okay. Uh, there is another related works. Uh, at first, uh, several years ago, uh, Kiyama-san 
make the generational garbage collection in Ruby 1.6. And Matt, Matt uh, made a one bit reference count garbage collection, or I made a floating, floating point optimization as a special constant. And Nakamura san uh, made a lazy sweep. Uh, May uh, incremental garbage collection for the, uh, the sweep phase. And Enterprise Ruby and also Nakamura san, Osa Nari san, uh, made a efficient bitmap garbage collection. And Ugawa san uh, may make a mostly copying garbage collection. There are some uh, garbage collection related projects. So 1.9, well, uh, uh, after this 1.9.1, uh, we, will, we will try to apply these results. And we uh, work on the uh, multiple virtual machine projects. Uh, as you know, the, there is, uh, uh, we, we, can't get, uh, we can't make a uh, multiple batch machine in one process. In current Ruby interpreter, Ruby 1.8 or Ruby 1.9, but this MVM project make it enable this. And each batch machine is uh, able to run, can, can run in parallel because they, they get the giant virtual machine lock. Ooh. And they can communicate the inter, uh, inter, inter virtual machine communication because they, they are uh, in, a, uh, in a process communication. This is the layout of the multiple virtual machine. The, uh, in the, uh, this is a process, and there are many virtual machines. And, and they can run in parallel with in this, this, this thread and this thread can run in parallel. Oh. And this, is, this project is sponsored by the uh, some microsystems. Thank you very much. And Na uh, Nakada san, Nakada san uh, is uh, working on, for this project. But Nakada san uh, preferred to write a, a patch for the 1.9. <laughs> so to uh, for, so some microsystems have to release the 1.9.1. .1. <coughs> this graph is a commit count of the Ruby uh, 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 2003 to the now. And this is the Matt's commit count, and this is Nakata-san's commit count. <laughs> he, he, he commits the Matt's commit. The, these commits are sponsored by some microsystems. Okay. And uh, MVM project, uh, we release, we, we, we uh, already released it on this uh, URL, so please try it if you have uh, interest. So summary is this. This is the uh, same slide as first I showed. Uh, CRuby is uh, not the best solution, but the good solution for the programmatic, sol programmatic programmers, at least several years. And there is uh, some project to uh, involve the, the CRuby. I introduced these projects. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>